Okay, I'm so excited about this one because it's oil pastels again, um, but it's on, well, you'll see. Also, I found an old root beer. I mean, it's not that old. It was from last last night or the, I don't know. Yeah, it was last night. Um, it, was, it was okay, you know, and here she is. This is what I'm painting on. I haven't painted on these in a while and I'm like, oh, but I thought the oil pastels would be like really smooth and fun on there and I was so right I really was so here I am setting up I'm laughing at something who knows I don't know you don't know I don't know what am I laughing at okay let's move on um also I'm in my favorite big t-shirt and I could live in it forever I mean, it's great and that's necessary to paint at night okay you gotta be comfy um and you have to be in your pajamas. So here we are. I got the a bigger set of the oil pastels. And I'm very excited. Because I, I wanted... It was actually for this picture. This painting that I wanted more colors. And um... Because look at this. Okay. I didn't have a light blue in the other set. I could have mixed them but... I don't know. It's not the same. Anyways. Here I am. I'm, I was deciding the colors, and there they are. They're all set up, and we go for it. I had the, I found that picture on Pinterest. I'll link the pin. But I, I liked the added daisies. I liked the added. Is that baby's breath? I think that's what that is. The little white, tiny flowers, and I wanted to mix those in and add those in. I forget to. I like to stick to my flowers. I don't. You know, I don't like to, I don't like realistic flower painting for me. Like, I don't like to do it. I like to look at them, sure. Like, painting different types of actual flowers that exist. Or I like to make up my own, but sometimes I like to add in other ones. I like doing daisies, and if, and I like adding just little blobs. So that's what I did. Also, the lifesaver, the hard lifesavers, I love those things. And I, I got some. And that's our snack for this painting session. This is also my first time trying the fluffy flowers, as I call them, with oil pastels. I've just been doing the outline ones, and I also realized I've been only doing outline flowers uh, for a while now. That's kind of usually how it goes. I I mean, I, I, switch, I switch between these flowers and the outlined back and forth, but sometimes there's like a month where I stick to one or the other, and it's been the outline. I don't know. But I, I feel like I'm going back to these now. I've, I've, I just kind of want to keep doing them on wood slices, and I've already, I want to look up other pictures of flower bouquets. I love Pinterest and looking up flowers for colors and just like, you know, ideas. But also, I always make it my own and do what I want mostly. But yeah, I love these. I just love, we've been through this. I love the texture of the oil pastels and it worked really good with these and on the wood. I love how it looks all smudgy and, and yeah, that's a great, I'm really good at describing things. Also here I am adding little blobs. Now, this is, this is, I don't know what these are, but they're, they're flowers, sure. You add some vines and some leaves, that's a flower. And then I added another one down here because I thought I needed to. And the the and then I added those. Because I saw which I kind of regretted, but I also I couldn't decide if I wanted to add purple, but the in the picture it had this kind of muted mauve purplish color, and I do like it. And here you can see some detail. And I can never get a good angle for the camera. Oh, I'm adding light gray to that. And then I'm adding white to those. I can never get a good angle on the camera in my paint room because there's clutter everywhere. I really need to clean it out. It's also just like small and I don't have a ton of room anyways. That color, I'm really liking that. Is that periwinkle? I feel like periwinkle's a little bit purplier and a little bit lighter, but that's kind of like it. Also, I'm adding my little... Um, baby's breath smudges. I love that we can just do little blobs and then boom, it's a flower. I did add a little bit of gray 
to the daisies and to those. And then here I am. I chose a yellowy green. I was also looking at the picture. It had all bright light colors. And, and so I was looking at that. And I kind of made it more of a bouquet where they're all going and kind of all around the little circle they're facing outwards. And then the camera falls. Whoops. It's okay. Everything's all right. And then I'm adding darker green and going back and forth and back and forth, blending and videoing as I go, of course, for the vertical app videos. And yeah, I'm just going back and forth. I like that darker green. It's like a, it's like, it's still bright. This is just so springy. It's so, oh, I love it. I forget about, I just love how daisies look too. And they're easy and they're fun. I need to, I, I just, I forget to add in other little blobs of flowers. I forget, you know? So, this is, this is my fixation for now, I can tell. I just, I want to do these now on wood slices. I call them wood slices. Is that what they're actually called? I'm not sure. It is, it is literally a slice of wood. And, um, I... I always have to make sure that these don't have a crack in them because if they have even a hint of a crack, then I'm like, hmm, I'm watching you, I don't trust you. I used to do wood ornaments and I would finish a whole pet portrait. I used to do pet portraits on them. I would finish the whole thing and then I'd look up one day and it'd be cracked. And those were thinner, so, but I was just like, so I don't usually love to work with wood pieces because I don't trust them. But boy, am I loving it right now. I have these left over on my shelves that I just haven't used because they haven't inspired me, but I'm loving it now, especially all these like the wildflower looking, you know, we're just like, there's just flowers everywhere. And then I couldn't decide if I want to do, I didn't want to cover the whole background, but I liked how I loved the blue background of that picture. So I kind of did some in the shape of like a cluster of little tiny flowers, but I kind of just added little blobs everywhere. And look at her. Oh my goodness, I love her so much. And I don't know, you know? it's She is spring. She is the moment. I just love it on the wood piece too, because it just looks like I just grabbed it from the woodshed, the log cabin. I'm out in the field of flowers and I'm painting. That didn't happen, but in my mind it did. So, also, I'm about to show you the pet, uh, not the, I was about to say pet prints because I mentioned pets earlier. Did I? Sometimes I don't know what I delete on here. Sometimes I say things and then I just delete it and restart. Well, we'll see. Also, yeah, here she is. This is an eight by 10 and look at this angle right here. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, wow, that's so cool. And she's printing, she's printing, and obviously it's not a circle. Sometimes people email and they're like, why isn't the print a circle like the original? And I was like, well, I need you to think about that for one more second. And that's not possible. Anyways, for me, here she is. Look at the texture that comes through. I mean, you can't feel it, but you can see it and you can feel it in your heart. Okay, love you, bye.